Knead the dough, knead the dough. This song is mandatory. Hi bakers, I'm Sally, and today I'm showing you how to knead yeasted dough. Kneading dough is a common step in bread baking, whether you're making sandwich bread, cinnamon rolls, or even homemade pizza. For kneading dough, you can use a stand mixer fitted with a dough hook attachment, or you can use your hands. I really like to use my hands for this because you get a real good feel of the dough. I just mixed together my dough here in the mixer. I brought all of those ingredients together. I'm making my homemade sandwich bread and the dough is ready to knead. All right, and I'm going to use my hands to knead it so I can show you. I'm going to lightly flour my work surface, lightly flour my hands, and very lightly flour the dough too. You don't want to over flour the dough during this step. You still want the dough to be a little soft and tacky. Now let's start kneading. Taking the palms of your hands, gently push the dough away from you in a rocking motion. Alternating hands as you go. I'm going a little slow here so I can show you. I'm alternating hands and I'm pushing the dough out. You want to put some energy into it to really stretch the dough out. I'm going to flour my hands a little bit more. It was getting a little sticky. As you knead, you'll start to feel the texture of the dough change a little bit. It'll begin to feel smoother and more elastic. Okay, it's getting a little sticky here. Let me grab a little more bench flour. And a bench scraper is always handy too in case it's sticking a little too much to the surface. Always a handy tool. Kneading the dough can take anywhere between three to five minutes or even as long as 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on the dough you're working with and the recipe you're using. This sandwich bread dough usually takes me anywhere between six and eight minutes. If your hands begin to get a little tired and you have a stand mixer, go ahead and have it help you out a little bit. Put the dough in the bowl, set the mixer to low to medium speed, and let the dough hook take over for a few minutes. But again, I really prefer to do this by hand. Maybe you're working with a really heavy dough. It could overwhelm your mixer, or your mixer could accidentally overknead the dough. It's really hard to overknead dough with your hands because you would get very tired. So why are we doing this? Kneading dough actually serves a couple handy purposes. First, it incorporates air into the dough, and it also encourages the proteins in the flour and the moisture in the dough to link together, which helps develop the gluten. And of course, gluten is what makes our breads deliciously chewy. This dough feels like it's almost ready to rise, but how do we know if we've kneaded it long enough? I actually have two ways that I like to test it, and I want to show you both. The first way is to lightly poke the dough. If it slowly bounces all the way back without sticking, then you know it's ready. That one stuck a little bit, so I know it needs a little more kneading. And the second way is to cut off a little piece of the dough and do something called a window pane test. And here I'm going to stretch the dough between my hands and see if light can pass through it without tearing. Obviously we knew the dough was not ready to go, so we know the dough needs a little more kneading. All right, let's test the dough again. Let me poke it with my finger, see if it bounces back. Okay, it bounced back a little bit that time. Let's try the window pane test. All right, I'm going to slowly stretch it out, see if I can see the light through it without it immediately tearing. And I think we're just about ready. I'm going to take this piece of dough, knead it back in a few times, this dough is ready, it's been kneaded long enough, and now it can rise. If you have an especially sticky dough, I want to show you a method that makes things easier. This is my overnight cinnamon roll dough. It's super soft, super sticky, so I do things a little differently. Go ahead and flour your work surface, flour your hands, and flour that dough. Use the heel of your hand, you'll push out the dough, fold it back, and give it a turn. Push the dough out, fold it back, and give it a turn. You can see this dough is breaking a little bit, that's because it hasn't been kneaded yet. All right, push it out, pull it back, and give it a turn. This method is a little more gentle, and I find it works better when you have a wet, sticky dough. As you can see, kneading does take a little bit of time, but the effort is well worth it, especially because you're making bread from scratch. 
Here's what your bread could look like if you skip kneading or if you don't knead the dough for long enough. As you can see, the bread doesn't rise as high and it's quite lumpy and dense. And this is the same recipe with properly kneaded dough and it's picture perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel inspired to try a new baking recipe today. Head over to my website for the full written recipe and all of my success tips. You can also ask a question right there on the recipe page and my team and I will be happy to answer.